That is Enrique Tario. He was the head of the Proud Boys. So many lies have been told about Enrique Tario and the Proud Boys. It's not even funny. They're not white supremacists. By the way, he's incarcerated right now. Very serious charges. They were just upgraded. This is what happened when he was arrested. FBI agents raiding Henry Enrique Tario's Miami home yesterday. He surrendered without incident. The arrest comes after federal prosecutors charged him with conspiracy and connection to the January 6th insurrection. The 38-year-old was not in Washington, D.C. Uh, the anchor was about to say he was not in Washington, D.C. on January 6th, but they still say he was involved. And in fact, the charges have just been upgraded to seditious conspiracy. We'd like to bring in Zuni Tario, uh, Enrique's mother. And Zuni, welcome to uh, Newsmax. I'm sorry you're going through this, quite frankly. I, I, I know a lot of the facts here. I think he's been overcharged and mishandled and lied about. Anyway, how you doing? Greg, thank you. I'm very honored to be on your show. I sincerely am. Thank you so much. You, um, this has been a roller coaster. I would imagine so. And actually, if anybody wants to help Enrique and you, you can go to the TarioFamilyFund.com. TarioFamilyFund.com. Now, a couple of things. First off, I want to address this whole idea that your son, who I believe is Afro-Cuban, is somehow a white supremacist. And I guess that would make you the mother of a white supremacist, which is laughable and ridiculous. You, would you please share with me your thoughts about that accusation? That is one of the most ridiculous things of all the things that have been said. That is one of the most ridiculous. He is Afro-Cuban. Um, we come from a Cuban family. Um, Henry is the first uh, generation of Americans and uh, by no means is he a white supremacist. And you were born, you were born in Cuba, ma'am? I was born in Cuba, and so is his father. And um, again, that is one of the most ridiculous things. Just by looking at him physically, you could just tell that. <laughs> tell us a little bit about him. You know, we've had him on the show. We know his beliefs. He's, you know, hardcore uh, freedom. But tell us a little bit about uh, something we don't know about him. Enrique is just a family man. He's a, a, a regular guy, nonviolent, loving man, just a family man altogether. So, and he is truly missed by all of us in the family. So they already, uh, he pleaded guilty to, I believe, burning a Black Lives Matter flag at a protest, which it sounds like literally giving somebody a ticket at the Indianapolis 500, a speeding ticket. It's crazy. He burned the BLM flag. He went to jail for, I think, uh, four or five months. And now he's back in trouble. Seditious conspiracy. They just upgraded the charges. What do you know about the latest uh, to befall him? Um, yes, they did just add those charges this week. Um, again, I mean, this is a roller coaster. I don't know how far the government is going to go with this situation. Um, it's, it's just hurting families. And um, every day, it's something different. You know, at the last minute, they come up with new charges. Um, and again, all of them, they're just family guys, you know. Um, they haven't been given bond. We've asked that they please let uh, be home till trial. That's all we've been asking and nothing. They, the government just keeps pushing, pushing forward in, in some shameful way. Have you been able to talk with him or visit with him? Um, actually, I just talked to him a little while ago and I told him I was going to be on your show and he was extremely excited about that. He, he really liked the fact. And uh, I do talk to him and uh, he just landed in Miami like an hour ago. He just landed, I'm sorry, he landed back in Miami an hour ago? Yes, he landed back in Miami an hour ago. So he's now in uh, FTC Miami. Okay, he's in federal custody in Miami. Why did they move him? Uh, that was something that Judge Kelly um, granted for him to come back to Miami to be closer to his defense. So, listen, you, you came here, your lawyer is not here, and the Tario family lawyer, you, you have one, he has one, so I'm not going through the indictment with you for that reason, although I have been through it, and quite frankly, I think uh, there's not a case here. That's my opinion. I'm not a lawyer, I'm not a prosecutor. I saw the text communications, at least those that were summarized, and it doesn't look like he was advocating for violence or an insurrection or anything like that. 
Uh, you know, a lot of people do think, though, these charges were upgraded to sedition because of the hearings that are going to happen tomorrow night. Do you believe that? I do believe that. I do believe that. I think um, it, it's a way for the government um, to manipulate those that committee hearing uh, tomorrow, those hearings tomorrow. All right. And by the way, we're, and excuse me, though, is it tariofund.com or .co? All right. Dot co or dot com? Sorry. Dot com is OK. If they put dot co, that'll be just the same. They'll be able to see it on there. All right. Terrific. I, forgive me. I thought we had a typo. Thank you there. so much. Yes. Thank you for clarifying that. Before we say goodbye, have you been harassed or anything like that? I mean, you know, your son and the fake news and the mainstream media uh, sedition. They're using that term very loosely. And now it's actually he's charged with it. Have you been harassed by anybody? Um, I have had some BLM uh, groups come to my home um, in the past, and um, and this has just caused so many problems. So many problems. It's just financial crisis here. There's emotional problems. There's all sorts of problems, you know, with this situation. Yeah, it gets very complicated very quickly when you're the government is prosecuting you and uh, their unlimited resources. Well, the TarioFamilyFund.co or .com, either works, Tario Family Fund. If you want to learn more, Google, you can read the indictment. I don't think the case is there. I know your son has been lied about. I know the Proud Boys have been lied about. I wish you all the best, Zuni Tario, okay? Thank you, Greg. We really appreciate all your help and um, all your comments have been very, very well received. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you.